Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aries, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for May 18 to 24. This week you've got the Great Gathering Oracle card. We have Tapas behind that. We've got Justice, Four of Pentacles, The Magician, The Chariot, The Queen of Pentacles and The Five of Cups. Three really large energies here, Aries, um, with Justice, Magician, Chariot. You know... We've got a really strong theme here of loosening the grip on the past, the things that have kept you in a state of maybe being stuck, maybe not moving forward, a state of sadness, a state of disappointment, whatever it is, this is time to release it. It is time to bring justice to that. It's time to leave them behind and move forward, move forward into your power, move forward and focus your energies on what you truly want to grow, nurture and expand now. It is time. Um, I'm absolutely loving this. It's really resonating for me. I'm an Aries. So let's, um, oh, just before we move to the oracles, you know, three out of six major arcana, guys, it's obviously fairly significant because, you know, the more major arcana, the, the bigger the life lesson or the event, you know, it's tied to our karma. It's, you know, it's playing out as it's meant to be. So before we go into the tarot, I'm just going to read the oracle cards. Now, Tapas here. Now, this is the card of self-discipline. And it really talks about the fact that you've gotten to where you have in your life, Aries, because you have had self-discipline. You know, you've really focused your energies and, you know, you have... Um, you know, reaped a certain amount of fruits for your labor. And it also talks about here that the next step in your involvement is to refine your inner strength and that you're now undergoing a deep transformation and that you're letting go, you know, you're letting go of things that are holding you back. You're stepping outside your comfort zone. You're gaining strength and you're moving through fear. So I absolutely love that. It's definitely reflected here in the cards, you know, stepping into your strength as the magician, the creator of your own life you know, moving through the fear, you know, finally feeling like you're able to let go and move forward into your next chapter. And we've got the great gathering here, which ties in just perfectly as it always does. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. So I'm going to read that one out. You have been called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet and as you travel and share your creations, something is re-threaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at soul level, or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. Yeah, so what this really says to me is that you are starting to align Aries. You are starting to attract people into your life life that is you know meant to be there that's going to help propel you to the next level and it's when you know you shift your energy under the magician um under the magician's energy that you know things start coming together the thread starts to pull because as you start to align with your higher self you start to align you know the work you do the people that are in your life and all of that you know everything starts coming together and that's when things are really on purpose for you so it's all coming together. That is a, definitely a big key message for this reading. All right, let's go to the recent past with the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Aries, you are being called to loosen your grip on the past, the bindings of the past. There's something that you may need to release, that you may need to let go of. You know, maybe it's the disappointments of the things that haven't gone as planned. Maybe you, you know, went to uni and you studied one thing and you you found out it wasn't really your thing after all. Maybe you had to drop out. Maybe life happened. Um, you know, maybe you found out that you were never going to go down that path. Maybe it was a relationship, you know, and you got in there and you thought it was the one and you had the vision of, of the marriage and the children and then it just didn't work out. You know, the expectations that haven't been fulfilled in an area of your life. Maybe you had a vision for how your life would be at this stage and now you're sitting here going, well, you know, I'm so far from it. But we have to remember that everything's perfect and playing out in perfect timing. And, you know, we usually know when it's time to take that inspired action to move forward. And this is one of these times, Aries, because I have a strong sense here that you've been staying in this state for what is too long now and you're being asked to loosen your grip on it. So... You know, the Four of Pentacles shows somebody who is kind of holding on for dear life. 
not wanting to loosen their grip, not wanting to let go. And that can because there's a sense of uh, a scarcity mindset. You know, some of you might still be in a relationship that's not working, but you're not wanting to let go because there might be the fear of, you know, that I'm going to be alone. Am I ever going to find somebody? You know, we could say the same about a, a job situation or work income that's not working for you, but you're in the scarcity mindset of, where's my next dollar going to come from? You know, what if I'm going to be just, you know, broke and unsuccessful? It's time to release those self-limiting beliefs and thoughts and, you know, really move on. You've got the chariot and the reading, strong sense of, of leaving something behind in order to move on to something greater. It is time to, to stay grounded as you go through this, but also really reflect on what is going to bring you quality in your life now, Aries. I mean, look at the difference in how this person here is holding that pentacle and how the Queen of Pentacles is holding hers. Here we have a sense of fear, of gripping, of, you know, not wanting to let go and release, whereas the Queen of Pentacles is relaxed. She's nurturing that pentacle. She, you know, is focusing on it. It's something completely different. So that's what we need to move into. And that Five of Cups, you know, shows somebody who... Is lamenting the past you know the losses the disappointments the expectations and it's through that you know staying connected to the past that is really stopping you from seeing the opportunities that are right behind you you know the past is the thief of the present because it can keep you stuck and in a, in a state of depression or anxiety because often we get you know depression is is the uh, the kind of illness of, of looking back and, and hoping and wishing that things had turned out a different way. And we can feel anxious when we think about the future. What we really want to do is be in the present moment, you know, to come back to that portal of the heart and operate from our intuitive centers. So, yeah, it's really time to release something big. You know, it could be a way of being, a, a way you've earned your money, um, maybe stepping out of employment and going, you know, self-employed. There's just some big shift that needs to happen here. Um, yeah, and there might be a justice. There might be a justice that needs to, to come to light first. I mean, justice comes into a reading areas when a fear and just modification needs to happen in order to bring your life back into balance because this energy is not in balance you know you, there's a sense of being stuck in the past of not being able to move forward you know there's not joy and happiness in these cards so we need to make a change if we do what we always did we get what we always got the only way to shift the scales to restore balance is to make a change and what is that change for you Aries what is that change for you it's releasing something, it's moving on from something, it's letting something go. You'll know what it is for you. You know, justice can indicate for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, you know, legal proceedings or needing to seek legal advice, maybe, you know, signing a new contract or reviewing your contract of your rights if you're leaving a job, divorce, separation if you're, if you're leaving um, a relationship. But there's levels to it, so it can just be making an adjustment and you know, a modification and saying, hey, you know what, I'm actually just going to release that thing that's no longer working for me in my life. Because the chariot, you know, is a such a strong card of forward movement and it's a victorious uh, forward movement. Now, it does say that you might need to leave some sense of familiarity uh, behind in order to move forward. I mean, he's leaving his hometown. He's leaving the mother you know, the motherland. And this for me is a metaphor of you might need to leave behind the familiar, the comfortable, you know, the, the old paradigm, the, the traditional values, the, you know, the well-worn path that we've been expected to tread, you know, or you get a job, um, you know, buy a house, pay the mortgage off for the, the rest of your life. And then in the last 15, 20 years of your life, that's when you get to enjoy it. Hey, we might not get there. Um, you know, for others, it's, you know, you must, uh, you know, in your early 20s, get, get married, have a baby and, and, and live the family life. This is time for you to assess what you truly want, you know, and leave behind any old paradigm thinking and values that are not working for you and move towards what you really want. You know, the the sphinxes here, I mean, this, this stone chariot is pulled by these two sphinxes. And the charioteer doesn't have reins, he just has the magician's wand. We have the magician in the, re in the reading. 
And the two chariots, uh, sorry, the two sphinxes here can indicate the sense of indecision or that sense of kind of um, maybe even confusion about that old paradigm and the new paradigm and, um, you know, whether you should move forward, whether you should stay, that sort of thing. But it's when you really focus your energies, it's when you get really clear on what you want that's when the sphinxes are in alignment and you can move forward at pace. That's when that stone chariot can be propelled. So it's about making clear decisions, you know, and this here just says victory. Both these cards are victory cards. So you're going to be leaving behind a comfort zone, Aries, and I feel like you're going to be tested on that. You know, often it's the one thing that we kind of don't want to release is the key thing that we need to release in order to get to the next step of our life. Near future, Magician and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, the Magician is that awakening, that awakening to your own value, you know, your own um, inner strength. The Magician really is that awakening to the fact that you have all the tools and resources at your disposal, Aries, to really create this future that you have been dreaming of. It's awakening to your own power. And it's when you realize that you don't need to rely on anyone else and you have those tools and resources at your disposal that you really do, you know, un unlock and tap into your infinite potential. And we've got two characters in this reading holding wands, you know, moving forward and making things happen by focusing their energies, focusing their intentions and committing to something and releasing the fear. It all starts with releasing the fear or the things that are holding you back and creating the space to make these changes. And look at the indicators of abundance. I mean, in the tarot, you know, often the, the foliage and, um, you know, the gardens and things like that are the indicator of, of growth, of abundance, of things expanding. Both of these cards have that. And the Queen of Pentacles, look at her. As we mentioned before, she's got her opportunity, but she's just got this beautiful, gentle grip on it. She is committing to it. She is focusing on it and she is, you know, loving it and nurturing it because she knows by loosening her grip, by putting her energies in the right place, that's what's going to lead to the abundance. Not by staying in a scarcity mindset, staying connected to energies that aren't working for us and holding on for dear life. That's not the formula. So this is what you're being asked to do, Aries. You're being asked to commit to what you truly want for your life now, to focus all your energies on it, to believe in yourself, to clean up your inner game, your thoughts. You know, our thoughts create our reality, our thoughts and feelings, what we truly feel and believe about ourselves. The magician is a reminder that, you know, we're creating from a feelings place. So we really want to um, make sure that, we are feeling positive about ourselves, giving ourselves positive affirmations, really feeling and believing in our own success because really, you know, our, our outer realm is really a materialization of our, um, of our inner world. And, you know, that's the place that we're magnetizing from. So we, if we're going to be in this mindset, guys, we're going to magnetize scarcity, depression, anxiety, loss, disappointment, unfulfilled expectations, but when we step into our power and we feel good about ourselves and we truly believe, that's when we get growth. That's when we attract abundance. That's when we attract the future that we really desire. But in order to get there, Aries, you're being asked to leave behind the comfortable, the familiar. You know, I know that you may see that this pattern isn't working for you, but it's familiar. But I feel that the success that you truly desire the life you truly desire is just outside of your comfort zone. So my question to you, Aries, is what are you willing to leave behind or let go in order to get there? <sighs> okay, let's draw a couple of keywords to close this one out. It's a powerful reading for a lot of you. That one wants to be seen. <laughs> yep. <sighs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> can't make it up guys can't make it up what do you truly desire freedom you know all of us humans we desire joy love and freedom this is the journey towards freedom but first you need to be willing to release some ties to cut some cords that is where you're heading if you trust the process if you trust and commit and release and let go 
you will get your freedom. Aries, that feels complete for me. I love this reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading. It won't be everyone's story this week. Leave me a comment. I do read them all and I love to know how everything's playing out in your daily life. And I'll be right here back with you at the same time next week for another reading.